Today we have a great looking plant with us called the Philodendron Hastitum, also known as the Silver Sword. The Silver Sword Philodendron has won its reputation for these dazzling broad leaves. This plant has a very unique silvery sheen which makes it a great collectible for Philodendron lovers like me. Hi, my name is Ravi and I am a plant enthusiast from India. Botanically, it's known as Philodendron Hastitum, commonly called the Silver Sword Philodendron. It features a gorgeous set of glossy leaves with a silver sheen, almost like giving out a metallic look. It's a climbing vine, as you can see here, often raised with a trellis or a, a moss pole. It's a low maintenance plant, which is quite surprising when you consider how captivating its looks are. If you want your silver sword to stay lush, growing gorgeous leaves, just follow these simple tips. Tip number one, lighting. The first and most important thing for any foliage plant is its lighting need. When it comes to meeting Hastatum's light needs, whether indoors or outdoors, it is important that you choose a spot with adequate lighting. Avoid exposing the plant to a full sun as this can damage the delicate foliage. Meanwhile, you should also observe if your plant is having a leggy stem as this could signal low light conditions. Tip number two, watering. This plant is a moisture loving plant. So a little over watering here and there wouldn't hurt the plant. Ideally, you should water the hastatum when the top two inches of the soil feels dry to touch. Watering needs of the plant may also vary with the current season. So you should adjust and increase watering in the summer and reduce it during winters. Tip number three, the right temperature. In order to grow the plant optimally, you should be able to achieve and maintain the silver sword which sits between 18 to 27 degrees Celsius. Moreover, it is advised to bring the plant inside during winters as the plant does not possess an efficient low temperature tolerance. A warmer condition will help the plant achieve ideal growth and excellent foliage development. Tip number four, humidity. This is a plant from the tropical forest, which is a clear indicator of its high humidity demands. So humidity levels above 70% will be good for the plant's vibrant growth. Tip number five, soil. To ensure proper growth, the silver sword soil should consist of a garden soil, peat moss and perlite. This will create a well-draining soil that is rich in organic matter. Adding some soil conditioners like vermicompost and charcoal to improve the activities of beneficial microbes also helps keep the soil light and airy. Although it's a moisture loving plant, make sure the soil is not waterlogging as it might lead to root rot. Tip number six, fertilizer. As a foliage plant, the silver sword fertilizer should be balanced. So a equal ratio fertilizer can be used during spring and summer, which is the plant's most active growing season. Tip number seven, potting and repotting. Because it's a fast grower foliage plant, Repotting is typically done when the roots are already coming out of the base of the plant or when the leaves begin to wilt. When repotting, a simple rule of thumb is to use a pot that is twice the original pot size. Make sure it has sufficient drainage holes to avoid having waterlogged soil. Avoid intense light right after repotting as this can shock the plant. Propagation the most common and perhaps the easiest way to do silver sword propagation is through stem cuttings. Simply cut off the stem with a few nodes, at least with three or four leaves. Like right you can see here, if I want to propagate this plant, I can cut it right here and this can be a new node for replanting. If you plan to root them in water, do change the water every alternate day until it roots. Like most philodendrons, the hastatum has similarly dangerous attributes taken from its genus. Almost every part of the plant contains calcium oxalate crystals that may be toxic to both humans and animals. With such a level of toxicity, it is recommended that the plant is placed in an area that is far from small children and pets. So growing the hastatum inside your house does have the risk of hurting your furry friends, but with careful precautions and an easy care routine, this is a great looking plant which gives a very unique dimension to your indoor settings. All in all, it's a great looking plant 
So search your local nursery out there and add this amazing plant to your collection. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or your experience with this plant. I'll be happy to hear from you all. Also do spare a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. It will inspire me to bring more such informative videos. Till then, best of luck, happy gardening.